What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a beginner's guide to aquatic plants. Let's go. So what I've done is I've broken them down into three types. Now the first type are rooted plants. These are plants that you plant directly into your substrate, whether that's sand, gravel, or whatever you're using, and include plants such as Ballicinaria, Dwarf Stag, and all the stem plants, such as Limnophila, Sessiliflora. Now the second type of plants are epiphytes. These plants, rather than being planted into the substrate, should be attached to things like rocks and driftwood. And this includes plants such as Anubias and Java fern. Planting epiphyte plants into the substrate will cause them to rot and eventually die. The third type are floating plants, and as the name may suggest, literally float on top of the water. This includes plants like duckweed, salvinia and water lettuce. Other things to consider when buying your aquarium plants include lighting. Different plants will require different levels of lighting, so depending on the strength of your light will depend on the plants you can grow. Having said that, you will usually find that when buying your aquatic plants, they are labelled as either easy, medium or hard. So if you just pick easy plants to begin with, they will generally grow under most lights. Another important thing to know about aquatic plants is the way they feed. For example, some plants are primarily root feeders, meaning they pull the majority of their nutrients from the substrate, whilst others are water column feeders, meaning they pull the majority of their nutrients from the water column itself. However, most plants are able to do at least a little bit of both. And the reason this is important to know is for if you decide to fertilise, as it will affect the method of fertilisation you use. Finally though, and just before we end this video, I just wanted to recommend three of my favourite plants to try when first starting out. And they are Vallicinaria, Limnophila sessiflora, and Anubius. You could easily fill a tank with just them three plants. So that just about brings us to the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, drop it a like. Maybe consider subscribing. And uh, if you've got any questions, drop them in the comments. And uh, that being said, I'll see you on the next one.